Okay. A new Optifine version is. Oh, all right. Well, um, uh, probably update Optifine. I keep meaning to get shaders installed, and I keep not doing it. And I completely forgot what I'm up to, where I left off. Well, we're, here's where we left off. Let's go ahead and repair the hammer. <clears throat> Put the hammer down. Oh, lag spike. Was that a lag spike? Uh, it's mostly fixed. And break that. And I have no memory recollection of what I was up to. Alright, where to leave off? We made the induction smelter. That's it. We made the induction smelter. And we had a pulverizer. Oh, a little lag spike. Hmm. Oh, I was reading. What was I reading? Uh, about how these filters work. I need a bucket of whatever it is I'm wanting to filter. So if I want to whitelist and only let something through, I need a bucket of that thing. So what I can always do is get a bucket of all the metals in a thing down here and, you know, just add it in. Now, the problem with that, and see, you can tell, and I actually had that in mind already. Um, I don't know how to get a bucket of some of this stuff. So let's do this. Let's go realize that we don't have a bucket, and let's get a bucket of lava and test it out. So, first we need a bucket. How do I not have a bucket? What happened to my bucket? A bucket of destabilized redstone? Huh. Chris, where's a bucket? Well, we'll make another one. Okay. Now, the problem is, I'm not quite sure how to get a bucket of, like, Molten iron right now. Um, they're not a thing I know how to do. So, something I need to look into. Uh, theoretically, I thought I saw some device in the thermal suite that uh, would let me do that, but now I don't remember what it was. So, let's do this. We put in this is a bucket of lava, which uh, doesn't actually. Well, that's interesting. So whitelist, blacklist, whitelist. Turn off that, and basically let's transfer the lava in. And so we'll transfer all that, and then we'll transfer. So this should only pour out. So not. All that molten glass is pouring out. Um, is that it's not pumping all the way through? Um, um, why is it not? Why is that line not empty? Interesting. So once that... Okay, well that's troublesome. Because it's not clearing the line. Alrighty then. Let's set this back to that. Okay. The line cleared. Turn that off. Oh, hi, I got I, ideas. 
Wait. Oh. And that didn't go the way I wanted it to. I was hoping that seem to actually work. Like, at all. So... Yeah, I got no idea. I, I got a semblance of an idea? It looks like, because maybe it was, the glass was already in the line. It wasn't... Um, draining out properly? Maybe if I had it attached directly to here. So it looks like it'll... But I'm not sure. We could try an experiment and connect this, connect it straight up to the system. So, in fact, that one will actually work for us. <clears throat> so if we do this, um, white list on, Ignore redstone, put it in the bucket, and it's emptying glass. That's not even remotely correct. That in no way, shape, or form actually worked. It seemed like it was going to work. Research said it was going to work, but it did not work. And I'm back to where I was in that. Huh. Well, I'm not. I guess I have more research to do about working with white la white labels, white lists. So if anybody happens to have any pointers, I'm all ears. I'll leave it down in the comments. Uh, otherwise, let's move on to the next thing. So let's put our glass away, and we yeah, have a bucket of lava. Uh, I don't have anything I need to smelt in here. So, let's see, what do we want to build next? Uh, there's this cool sash, sash, satchels, yeah, that are pretty neat. And they're going to take a singulum. Uh, oh, that's secured. So we need wool, leather, and tin. And we have none of that. So you know what we're going to do? We're going to make a sword. So. Wood. <clears throat> Let's see what we need to make ourselves a rapier. Which is a thing. Uh, so we actually have some sword choices. We have a cleaver. Heavy awesome. And his powerful strikes, but is difficult to wield. Benefit from high damage. Slow requires two hands. Well, only well, you're using two hands. So we do a cleaver. We do a rapier. It's a special weapon that relies on quick strikes to defeat foes. Right click to bat it. Pedal. Okay. So this is an offensive weapon. It is often used for charging the battle at full speed. It has a lunge. And then we have... So we have a couple of weapon options. Um, the cleaver honestly kind of caught my eye, and so this takes a tough tool rod. If we can make those, a large sword blade, we can. We need to make a thingy for that, and a large plate, which I believe we have large plates. 
let's check our reserve things. There it is, large plate, tough tool rod. And so now we just need to get the blade. So let's, uh, let's see, what was it? It was the large sword blade. So we need to start off with large sword blade pattern. Which we then just drop in here. Then we take our large sword blade pattern, lag spike, and we need to. We need a lot of wood. Oh, can we not do this one with wood? Oh, we just need a lot of wood. Ooh, lordy. Okay, it's gonna take a lot of iron. Okay, large sword blade. There it is. And then now we need to go get golden and iron. So, how's our gold reserves doing? I've... There we go. Oh, 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 nope. Nope. Oh, oh god. Oh god. Hi. There we go. See, this is why I really... This is so slow. I can't pour out... Well, I guess I could. I guess I could put another thing here pour out two at a time into these thingies. Uh, maybe rewire this so that it connects here, comes up from maybe from underneath, and then put the switch right here. Then I could do, I could load up two of these at once and then empty them out. How much gold is left? Should be enough. Now we need iron. You know what I think? I'll just turn Let's keep this on and wait until it starts getting low enough. Six, five, four. That's the other thing is if I can get the actual servo things working, then uh, I think we can um, empty these out quicker. <clears throat> right now, this is fairly slow. It's about a need a second. So, you know, if I want to empty out multiple blocks, well, that's six second you know, chunks. No, nine. Nine second chunks. Um, longer than a D&D &D round. Okay. Something randomly fell off my desk. Let's put that back. I lost track. You know, that's probably enough. So, turn it off. I'll let it drain out. Turn it off. And back on up. Oh, that's my pump. That's where I pump it. <laughs> it's embarrassing. Uh, so we need the gold first. Yeah, I probably, I don't know, I do kind of need all these. So we'll start with the sword blade. And we'll make our cast, which will destroy the piece of wood. Yep. Now if I had done that sword blade with metal to begin with, how am I doing that? Then yeah, that would have... Uh, no, that would have probably survived. So it was kind of a waste of wood, but whatever. And then iron. Uh, and you can use other metals too. I forget what they all do. Probably look at them up. So let's go ahead and get that. Oh, and then we are going to need this and tough tool rod in case we may not have enough iron. So, back. How many tough tool rods? Was it two tough tool rods? Let me go double check. Um, two tough tool rods, yeah. So, let's pour out another one of those. There we go. I think the time it takes to cool is actually seems to be dependent on how much material it takes up. Do so, wants to go for a walk with you? Um, you need a couple minutes? Okay. Then you probably go get some pants on, and when Daddy's ready, you guys go for a walk. I put the sword in the wrong spot. Okay, and we have an iron cleaver. Ha <laughs> ha! Um, let's 
slower attack speed, yada yada yada. All right. So that was cool. Now we've got a oh wow, it's huge. Yeah, it's not so bad in terms of speed. Let's see if we can augment it with anything. I think um, was it redstone that gave us haste? Redstone blocks. And then we can upgrade our sword a wee bit. And then we'll go for a walk. A certain little girly. Bonus speed. Wow. If I put all my redstone into it, that would speed it up a wee bit. My fingers need to be. Oh, that's not going to be good. Let's see. Let's see what else we can add to it. I know I don't have any lapis, but um, how can we do emerald? Or right, let's see, our diamond, gold. Let's see what else we can tack on to there. And um, so that uses it's just luck, which I don't care about. Gold? Beheading too. Oh, that's kind of cool. It adds a 10% chance to get the enemy's head on kill. That's kind of neat and creepy simultaneously. That just increases our durability. Okay, come on, I'll get you a cookie. Emerald. Emerald increases durability depending on base stat. Oh, that wasn't so great. And I do like the idea of upping its speed. So, oh, that's for each one. And somehow it gave itself beheading. Yeah, isn't that cool, girly? Hastis. That doesn't seem to do anything. Um, is it too late to put some? Oh, that was the beheading, wasn't it? It was the gold. Not enough modifiers. Okay. What the fuck a lava would do. That'd be cool. All right, we've got ourselves a pretty sweet sword. Blood groove is kind of creepy. The red. So let's put all this back. So now we can go forth and go cow killing. So that we can get a satchel or stuffs. So I guess I will stop there because I'm going to go for a walk with the girly. Yeah, we're going to go for a walk in a minute. So if you've got any comments or thoughts upon, uh, what's going to call it, uh, the siphons I've got built and how to make them better, because I know I'm struggling a little bit, feel free to leave a comment. Like if it amuses you to do so, and subscribe if you'd like to see more. And you all have a good day, and yeah, cheers.